kinds of Cebu universities. But first, let us know what an academic library is. What do we even mean by library? What is a library? Is it a collection of texts? Is it the building? Is it the service? The answer is all of the above. An academic library typically comprises one or more physical library buildings open to you as a student, library collections, both physical and digital, and library staff, running a range of services designed to support study and research. Out of all the academic libraries that we've been, we chose the Cebu Institute of Technology University and the University of San Carlos Talamban campus. of CITU College Library. CITU Library have a one-cut cafeteria, perfect for the students who love coffee while studying. Coffee helps students increasing energy levels, improving focus and enhancing cognitive abilities. CIT Wildcat Exhibit Area As a mixture of style and comfort, this area offers a unique experience of lodging while studying. In the exhibit area, they have two stimulators. First, a vision stimulator. Second, driving stimulator. They also have VR or virtual reality and a 3D printer. CITU Library, they have more than 1,000 of collections, materials, and resources. Contain books, periodicals, and other materials for reading, viewing, listening, studying, or reference. They also provide multimedia NOC, computer hub, multimedia reading area, reading hubs, elliptical reading area, discussion rooms, and reading due with, with shelves. Activity loft area. The mini theater designed loft is covered with a grass-like carpet. Soft cover cushions are provided for the library patrons to sit comfortable on the staircase. Pitch room area. Used to discuss as a group and pitch out presentations. This type of discussion room is occupied with technology to bring out the thoughts and ideas of the group and the speaker or the facilitator of the discussion. Wall of Fame, most visited area. They put the name of the top notchers and name of the king and queen of engineers to recognize and give value of their hard work and sacrifices. Motivation shows who recently achieved the top one in a board exam. Handprint of the top notchers. Enjoy and visit the Cebu Institute Technology College Library. Welcome to USC Talamban Campus Academic Library. So today we're here to show you the beauty of USC Academic Library. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started!
University of San Carlos Talamban Campus have different libraries and those are Library of Architecture and Fine Arts, Library of Arts and Sciences, Library of Nursing, and lastly, Library of Humanities and Social Science. The academic libraries at the University of San Carlos Talamban campus are quite astonishing. There is a single library building consisting of four levels. Can you imagine how big their library is? They are also collecting the Imari Yaki and Arita Yaki. The rich complexion and a history of 400 years can be classified broadly into three types. Kiyomari, Kakimon, and Nabishima. It's a wide variety of usage from a daily tableware to artworks for decoration. It's white and beautiful surface and brilliant overglazed animals. They are not just collecting old books or new books, but they also collect old types of computers, old music playing device, typewriter, and a thousand of tapes, and etc. Their collection of books that composes of 400,000 books. Their book collections will captivate you since they have these extremely ancient volumes that they not dump. Their methods of offering services to staff members and students, including an extremely practical method so that kids won't get tired and a simple way to access the library, whether it's online or offline. They are also collecting the artwork and paintings of Cebu City to recognize how beautiful and amazing it is. In the next video, Ms. O'Hassan and Ms. Lapis will show you the different kinds of school library.
Sana Sarah Campus Junior High School Library. Alright, so as we roam around, as you can see there in the video, um, the library only has a limited collections. And yes, Jessely, can you tell uh, us more if what are the collections that the library has? So as you can see, they only have the Filipiniana and then Filipiniana and the general references. But they have also the faculty area. Faculty area section. Oh, I see. And also, as you can see there, as we entered the, uh, the building or the, the entrance, the entrance, you can see that there is um, a new acquisition. I believe that is where they will place the new books that they have. I guess. Or so, their new arrival collection. Correct. Yeah, new arrival collection. Mm -hmm. Next to the new acquisition section, uh, they have the they have their circulation reserve section. What we have observed, the library here looks like the mini version of what we have there in Maine. Because as you can see there in the video, the library here also has a sofa where students, students can, can sit and read their, read their books. books. But what Jocelyn and I like the most here in the library, it's, it seems like interesting because the, the main library in the main campus doesn't have these. Yeah, and these are the bin bags. <laughs> the bin bags the around bin bag. in the non Filipino section. Yes. As you can see in the video, they also have the OPAC section. They have four computers where students can browse on their databases or what they want. Yes. And I guess that's what we have here in Basak. And now we're gonna move forward to Aveliana. <laughs> the next school library we're gonna do, we're gonna visit the Aveliana National High School School Library. Without further ado, let's get started. <laughs>
guys, and now we're here at Abiliana National High School Library. And now as you can see in the video, the library that we have here is just like what we have in USJR Basa Campus. The library is quite spacious. So Jessely, can you tell us more if what are the sections that we have here in Abiliana National High School Library? So as you can see in the videos, uh, um, they have a lot of sections which are literature, they have literature, they have religion section, fiction, they have magazines also, and they have um, donated books from the City Hall uh, published by the San Carlos University, University of San Carlos. And then they have Filipiniana, also they have Mathematics and Science, mm -hmm. uh, what, uh, what else? They have languages also in, at, in their uh, at our back. Mm -hmm. So upon comparing with the two schools, guys, what we like the most or what we like um, about here, here in Abeliana National High School is that they tend to segregate, segregate, properly. segregate their books properly. Just like, I mean, unlike as to what we have in USJR Basa campus. campus. You know, as you can see there in the video, in USJR Basa Campus, they tend they only have three uh, Section. sections. That's the, gener the general references, general references non-Filipiniana, and, non and Filipiniana. Uh -huh. um, as you can see in the videos here in Abilian National High School, they have literature, um, they have textbooks area, fiction. Yeah. Yeah. Unlike in Basak, na, they, they only uh, place all the collections in non filipiniana section, section, in one, one section, section, which is the non filipiniana section. So guys, that's it. I think that's the end of our um, school library tour. And for the next videos, uh, we have Nashani Talato and Katrina Ibanez to introduce special libraries. Bye! <laughs>one of the oldest public library in the country. It was established on April 13, 1919 and is centrally located within the city of Cebu. The Cebu City Public Library houses more than 20,000 volumes of books distributed into 11 different sections. Our mission is to provide adequate and equitable access to information and services for lifelong learning to people from all walks of life. Public Library Services The first area you will enter is the Information Area, wherein the patron must log in to the library. Next is the Reference Section. circulation area. And near the entrance is the internet section, wherein the library patron can access the internet through the use of the library's computers. Once you finish logging in, you will enter the browsing area.
The browsing area is the Cebu City Public Library's fiction area. It also has periodicals, multimedia materials such as CDs, cartographies, and a recreational section. The Freedom Wall is also present in the library. These next three sections are donations from foreign affairs, which aims to understand more of those foreign cultures. First is the Chinese Corner. The Japan project was sponsored by Nippon Foundation through the Japan Science Association. And lastly, the Korean section, which is a collection of storybooks. The next three sections are Filipino-related sections. Rizaliana Filipiniana Cebu Local History Early literacy is also one of the goals of the Cebu City Public Library, so they have a special section only for children.
Hi, Steven again. I think more need fiction. Yeah, I think this is the fiction section. Very small. And on the second floor of the Mandawis City Public Library is their e-library, which is a computer room.
Good afternoon everyone, we are here in Rizal Memorial Energy and we see you. Currently, the museum is being on the back of this matter. It is a and an eat for the display and well arranged, you could say. So we are now inside, and what greets you here directly is this huge painting. <coughs> now, you know, go, come here, look at that. And through this door, unfortunately, we are not allowed to enter, but there are more paintings in here. Now then, just briefly pan it to see it, and then <coughs> we will move on upstairs later. Upstairs, there should be more um, displays and things to be seen, but unfortunately, we are not able to go upstairs because we were not allowed to. But we already have footage on it a while ago, so we will just compile it and put a separate part section in the video later. So, yeah, that's the end of this somewhat vlog of the result museum. So. The National Museum has two floors. As you first you around the museum, you might see some random pictures or paintings depicting the past of Cebu as a city. You can see the whole layout of the city, some aerial shots, and on the upper floor you can see some miniature models of the buildings. First room mainly except the mineral, plant life, wildlife, marine life, zoo, and the Philippines has several days also birds geological features as well.
here you can see the pictures that are used in this series that were used in the past. This section now is where they display some artifacts that were found in Cebu. Now we are on to the second floor. Now it's the floor mainly exhibits art from Philippine artists with sculptures, paintings, and carvings and the like. 